all woke up to some snow on Monday morning. Meteorologist Corey Smith tells us how much we saw across the Mid-South. A lot of snow fell across the Mid-South over the last couple days, so let's talk about the amounts and how that plays into some of our past winters that we've seen in the Mid-South. We'll start off with the forecast. This was put out the day before our winter weather event, and you can see we called for four to six inches of snow along the I-40 corridor and really just south of that. And it turns out that was not too far off from what we ended up seeing. In fact, some locations actually overproduced in that snow range, and you can see that on our snowfall accumulation map here where we have these darker purples. This is four to six really Memphis East that we saw that forecast verify, but that pink is actually six inches or more. A lot of locations actually seeing up to eight inches of snow in the mid south. The only place that didn't really play out was down towards Oxford where some sleep mixed in, but overall a lot of snow no matter where you really go in the mid south. That's Tennessee, Arkansas and Mississippi. Let's look at some of those notable snowfall amounts in the most in McNary County, Adamsville at eight inches and Selmer at seven over in Hardeman County, Middleton, 17. 7.3 inches of snow and as you get closer to Memphis West Memphis 5.5 inches Collierville was the most in Shelby County at 6.5 inches and in downtown Memphis at 4.6. Let's talk about the official snowfall though in Memphis that's taken from the Memphis International Airport and that was 3.4 inches which actually is more than our average amount of snowfall for a winter here in the city. So 2.21 is that average. So we've already seen more than we typically see over the last 30 years there and that's notable because this is actually now the 10th snowiest winter in the past 40 years and if you go even a little bit of a shorter time span this is now the second snowiest winter since 2012 so a lot of us getting those flakes flying and I know if you're not a fan of this cold weather we have some really good news for you here on this next slide you're going to see this red here this is from the climate prediction center they put a temperature outlook out and this is towards the end of the month and you can see calling for above average temperatures. So eventually looks like we're going to thaw out from the studio. I'm ABC 24 meteorologist Corey Smith. Corey, we deserve it after all this. Thanks a lot. Hey, stick around.